Lou, we might want to dab a little bit of Vicks on the older top lip. She's reeking. <laughs> Something for the dads. <laughs> <laughs> They're really long, these gloves. <laughs> Greg, do you wear these in... In the bedroom? No. <laughs> I suddenly uh -huh. thought these are quite sort of green grocery. More factory y. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, right. Yeah. I was yeah, just trying to make yeah. conversation a little bit. Hello, <laughs> <Yeah>, love. <laughs> OK, the first prop is a police car. Oh, set off any Ninors among our panel? <laughs> Roche. Um, when I was five years old, maybe nearly six, we were meant to be going to Margate for the day. The weather changed. And instead, we went to Tesco's in Camden Town. <laughs> <laughs> when I got told of this in Tesco's, when I realised Margate wasn't happening, I lost my damn mind. Yeah. And I ran out, and I remember running down the street just furious. <laughs> I got lost, I got picked up by a police fan, and then when they asked me where I lived, I said Margate. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> that that is, is amazing. That's strong. Brilliant. The reason why the police eventually worked out that I didn't live in Margate is they kept saying, whereabouts in Margate? And I kept saying, near the rides. <laughs> <laughs> near the rides. Did they actually take you to no, Margate? No, they drove me for about 40 minutes in a, like, obviously trying to work out if this child telling the truth. Yeah. And then I obviously knew nothing else about Margate other than the rides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my mum went to the police station and they got a description and they were like, you don't live in Margate. I was like, tell me that. <laughs> Little tip, um, if you call the air ambulance, you can go abroad. <laughs> oh. 